Hey guys, another Q&A for you, and today we're gonna to be talking about immobilizer bypasses. All right guys, so we're just gonna dive right in. This particular question actually doesn't come from any social media avenues, but this is a question that we get uh, pretty often in general, uh, especially through our call center. Uh, and the question is, how do I know what bypass I need for my remote start? So we're kinda, kinda just talk about immobilizer bypasses, what they do, et cetera. Um, so we're going to start off uh, basically with what an immobilizer bypass does. Essentially it does more than just what they call it. Uh, that's kind of what it's typically referred to as an immobilizer bypass. Uh, but they really do more than that. It's pretty much it's a multi-platform uh, module that does uh, security uh, features uh, like door locks. Um, it does your immobilizer, it links up to your uh, CAN bus system in the vehicle, your data system, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's definitely something that is 100% needed on most vehicles to do remote start. Now, you still can use uh, one of these modules for an alarm other than a remote start because there's a lot of other features that can make your life easier uh, when it comes down to installation. Uh, and I'm like, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. Um, but basically, we're gonna start off by saying, if you're in the market for an alarm, a security system, or a remote start, just give us a call. We'll be able to look up your year, make, and model, and we'll be able to get you exactly what you need for that particular brand of alarm or remote start, uh, so that way you have all the right parts when you go to put this in. Um, but uh, basically right behind me, I've got probably two of the most popular uh, immobilizer bypasses that we sell. One of them is by uh, Omega, it's the OLMDBAL. And then we also have the Fortin uh, Evo All. They essentially do the exact same thing. They're both 100% universal. So realistically, this can pretty much be used with just about any security system out there. So, uh, and of course, if you're not sure, I don't have a long list of which ones, but it pretty much works with just about everything. Um, obviously, if you're unsure, give us a call, like I said, we'll help you out with that. But uh, besides that, if you don't wanna give us a call and you wanna kinda look up a little bit more of this information on your own, pretty much you can go to the manufacturer site. So behind me, I've got the Fortin website up here, and pretty much at the top here, you can basically see, uh, it's pretty much asking for the make, the model, and the year of the vehicle. Um, and then it's gonna tell you what you need. Um, also, as another one, we've got the Omega website. And we've already went ahead and keyed in a 2015 Honda Civic uh, with a standard key. Uh, it's a four cylinder. And it brings up two modules that we can use. One of them is the OLMDBAL, and another one is the OLMIBKO. Um, and basically, you can use the guide here, and it's really gonna show you exactly what this module is gonna control. So for this particular car, I would suggest you're gonna use the OLMDBR. And the reason why I say that is it's, beacon, it's because it's gonna do all your keyless entry, your lock and lock, all your security features. Um, it will, you know, if, if your vehicle has an electronic trunk pop, this module is gonna control all of it through the data system, which is really nice. Um, of course, your remote start, your immobilizer, etc. So basically, what an immobilizer really does for the most part for that particular part of it is that most newer vehicles have like a chip in the key or you've got a key that's got the RFID. So when you get in the car, you've got the push button start. It needs to see that specific key for the car to start. So obviously, when you're talking about remote starting the, your car, you're not in the vehicle. You're obviously outside the vehicle. Maybe you're inside your office and you want to warm up your car, or cool down your car, etc. cetera, you're in your house, your key's not gonna be present in the vehicle. So basically what these modules do is they program to your key. So that way, during that process of remote starting your vehicle, that information that's on that key resides on these boxes. So when you go to remote start the car, it sees that information from that key, and then of course it thinks the key is essentially in the vehicle. So the car is going to start without one of these. There's no way you're going to be able to achieve starting your vehicle on almost all new vehicles. Pretty much, I don't want to say a specific range, but generally speaking, 2000 on up vehicles are going to need this. Now, I'm not implying that some of the older vehicles uh, pre 2000 aren't going to. That's why it's super important to give us a call or go online and take a look at your vehicle and see exactly if you need one of these modules. Because if you buy the remote start and you don't have this, it's not gonna work. So at the end of the day, even if you don't even 
need remote start and you're just installing a security system, I would highly recommend one of these modules because it's really just gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this can actually make your life easier. So we're gonna just use the vehicle that we uh, searched earlier, the 2015 Honda Civic. And once you've chosen, in this example, the OLMDB all, it's gonna bring us right over to this diagram for that particular vehicle. So basically what you can see right on the screen here is that pretty much every single thing that's in red is what you would need to connect manually wire by wire from your alarm if you did not use one of these interfaces. Now, because you're using the interface, you can actually see it's a lot more simplistic. You'd only actually need to connect the wires in black because the module itself is controlling everything else through that module that you'd normally need to connect wire by wire illustrated here in red. So you can see how that's a heck of a lot less wiring. So that's gonna make your life a lot easier. All right, guys, so this looks intimidating. Then definitely take it to a pro if you're a DIY go for it. This is just one example for this particular car. There's obviously thousands of cars out there. All of them are going to be completely different. Some are going to be easier than others for sure. Again, guys, this is just one example for that particular car. There's a lot of other variables out there. In some cases, you may even have to hide a key in the car. Uh, there's even T harnesses that you can purchase that can make this even easier. So no matter what, at the end of the day, moral of the story is just give us a call. Let us help you out. Let us get you exactly what you need. So that way you have everything when you go to put this in or have it professionally installed. I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics. Make sure you subscribe, leave some comments below. I'll see you next time.